Hello, welcome back to NMI. In this quick video, I'm going to show you something that you should never do with modular power supplies. So I got this case and my friend asked me to uh, install a new motherboard because the previous motherboard wasn't working so I started installing so it has it had it came with this power supply with this gigabyte power supply here right um, 750 watts and the cabling was already here and I started uh, to you know install the motherboard this is a p60 an asus p60 which is I, I like it a lot because it has like six um serial ata plus a parallel ata plus a floppy interface it has a, a pci slots and pci express slots so it's a hybrid uh, motherboard between like older technology and newer technology and it has an i7 here that I installed. This is an i7-920. And this GPU, which you can't see, there is a GeForce uh, GTS 250 here. Anyway, um, I installed the motherboard and I, yesterday I was ready to start installing Windows on this machine for him, right? That's what, that's what he asked me to do as well. This machine came with three hard disks here on the internal base. The one 160 gigabyte, 400 gigabyte, and 1.5 terabyte. Okay. Everything was already wired, so it was pretty easy for me. Also, I thought, right? I started uh, once everything was ready. I, I I turned on the machine with the power connected to everything, and I noticed that the motherboard was not detecting the hard disks, any hard disk. And I thought, oh, why is that happening? Right? I I tried the uh, two times. Uh, the motherboard was booting up properly, like the posting and everything but the hard disks wasn't they were not detected the dvd drive that is here on on top here was being detected no problem but the hard disks none of the hard disks were detected so i disconnected everything and started to maybe i thought maybe there is one of them is malfunctioning or something like that i left only one connected still nothing i removed the hard disks powered them externally and I found that there was not even sound of the spinning disk so that was not a good sign right the next thing that I tried to do I take I took my external power supply that I have for external hard disks and powered it with the external power supply again nothing so the hard disk was dead all of them all the three hard disks here they appeared to be dead, right? I was not uh, considering a, a power... I, I thought that maybe the power supply had some problem, but the DVD was working, so, okay. If the DVD is working and the, it receives the same 12 volt and 5 volt, so if the DVD is working, the hard disks were supposed to work. The reason they were not working is because they're dead, right? But then I had the brilliant idea of, okay, I'm going to try my own, one of my own hard disks, right? A small uh, two and a half inch uh, hard drive from an older laptop. I'm going to try it here and see what happens. I connected to the uh, serial ATA power, powered it with that cable and smoked right away. So... I killed my other hard drive. So three hard drives dead here plus another one, my hard drive, right? That is terrible. So I started to look 
for answers, right? The motherboard, like the, sorry, the power supply apparently was not bad. And the, the DVD was still working, right? First, let me show you something. Here we have uh, one of the power uh, connectors for older drives, right? And you can see here, right? And if we turn on the power, and I press here power on this motherboard, which is also a very nice feature. The, it powers up. The machine, the, the motherboard is posting right now. And so the video card is working, the motherboard is working, but there, there's no, apparently no power on the, on the fan. And I'm gonna show you now why. So we have the multimeter there on screen. Let's measure the power here on this connector. Just a reminder, usually, oops, it's touching the CPU fan. So 5 volt here, ground 12 volts, right? So I have ground connected. Let's measure 5 volts. See, 12 volts instead of five. And on the 12 volt line, we have five. Why? Because I did not know that the power supply is okay, but the cables, some of them, they don't belong to this power supply. And that is a problem, right? I learned yesterday the hard way that some power supplies, these modular power supplies, they accept different cables from probably different manufacturers, but it doesn't mean that they're gonna work with them, right? Now I'm gonna power it off. So obviously this is the reason why the hard disks fried, including my own hard disk. Now I want to show you something. So this is the connector or, or the, the, the cable for the, this older um, devices, right? And here we have, this is the DVD power, the serial ATA connector for uh, power connector for the that is going to the DVD there you can see here how the pins are arranged now let me show you something this is this connector here is the one that was or is powering the hard disks see the pin out doesn't match so that means that this cable is not the right one for this power supply, but it fits there. That's the worst part. So I ask why, why manufacturers are doing this, right? And let me show you something. This is the power connector for the older devices, right? The parallel ATA devices and floppies and stuff. Again, not the same pin out as the one that is working, right? You can see here that there are two missing pins here. And here there is the, the one missing is in top middle, right? Now, I have another cable like this here, right? That also provides the parallel at a older standard connector power, right? The, the power connector. And look at this. Again. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's out of focus. Yeah, here. See? So this, th they are different. Now let me show you something. If I disconnect the cable that was here before, and I now connect this new cable that I just showed you, and I'm going to connect it there on the power supply um, here. 
and let's connect it to one of these and now I'm gonna power it up turn on the power and now Now if I measure here, if I measure the five volt, look at that. Now I have five volts. And now I have 12 volts. Oops, faulty ground, 12 volts, see? So this is the right cable for this power supply. But it also accepts this other cable here and it makes this absolutely insane thing of reversing 12 volts and 5 volts that means that if you connect this cable here to your devices in your power supply in this case this gigabyte power supply you're gonna fry your devices you're gonna fry hard disks you're gonna fry in this case floppy disks right there is a uh well this one doesn't have the floppy the smaller floppy drive Oh yeah, this one, right? The, it has a floppy connector here, reversed. So you're gonna fry your floppy drive, right? So the bottom line is be very careful with modular power supplies, okay? If you happen to have spare cables like this, because yeah, that's something that I, I was gonna comment. Maybe even the these uh, ATX cables and the CPU uh, power cable here uh, might change from manufacturer to manufacturer. Uh, but the thing is, the ATX cable, usually you don't have spares because it only there's only one per power supply. And when you install the power supply, you have to use it, right? So there's no spare for this. But for these cables usually here, Usually, there are spares because you don't use usually all of them. So, storing this kind of stuff and trying to reuse is very dangerous, right? And this is what I wanted to show you in this video. Um, in my case here, unfortunately, three hard drives here dead, plus my own hard drive, all of them dead. Uh, I'm not sure maybe they were dead before they arrived here because everything was wired already as i mentioned right and i didn't have any reason to suspect that cabling was wrong or anything like that i was not told that there was like two power supplies uh cabling mi mixed together here anyway uh i should have uh done better and uh, and i apologize for that but that's a fact of life and I wanted to publish this video so I maybe warn other people to not do that right here um, we lost four hard drives but you know who knows if like uh, imagine that a GPU power cable this is reversed and you install and you fry uh, an expensive GPU I don't want that to happen to anyone so this is the reason I decided to publish this quick video as a heads up, a warning. Please be careful when you deal with modular power supplies and spare cables, right? Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, if you like my channel, please consider subscribing to NMI and see you next time. Bye.